Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alex Sutton and today I'll be talking about what the decision makers and the Broncos organization need to do to get this team back into the postseason. First is the salary cap. The Broncos have $26.8 million in cap space, the 14th least in the league. With big gaps in the offensive line and at quarterback, this will lead to cuts or trades. The top two names to get cut or traded are Akeem Talib saving $11 million and C.J. Anderson saving $4.5 million. This will give the team $42.3 million to spend. With the Golden Horse Kirk Cousins rumored to be wanting $28 plus million, this will help the Broncos try to land Cousins. The second thing on the to-do list is the offensive line. Last season, the Broncos line gave up 52 sacks, tied for the third most in the league with the Cardinals. The top two offensive line and free agents to me are Justin Pugh, a guard slash tackle from the New York Giants, coming off of a back injury, missing eight games. Pugh's price could be lower than most top linemen in free agency, with his output of only five sacks allowed and only three holding penalties in the last three seasons. For the right price, Pugh could be a steal in free agency this offseason. The second is Nate Solder. The top free agent lineman the most would help shore up the tackles, with Garrett Bowles heading into his second year in the league. Solder, a top tackle in the league, will be looked at as a fourth on the field and a great mentor for Bulls to learn from. The third thing on the to-do list is to address the quarterback position. The three quarterbacks of Simeon, Osweiler, and Lynch had a 58.6% completion percentage, threw for 3,668 yards, 19 touchdowns, and 22 interceptions. Some potential replacements are the big one, Kirk Cousins, who had a 64.3% completion percentage, threw for 4,093 yards, 27 touchdowns, and 13 picks. The second quarterback is Case Keenum. In 15 games, he had a 67.6% completion percentage, threw for 3,547 yards, 22 touchdowns, and 7 INTs. The third quarterback, if released, is Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod Taylor, also in 15 games, had a 62.6% completion percentage, threw for 2,799 yards, 14 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions, plus 427 rushing yards. Some lower price, riskier options are Sam Bradford, who's had a career full of injuries, and Teddy Bridgewater, who had a catastrophic knee injury that made him miss the entire 2016 season. Other options are in the draft, with names such as Baker Mayfield, Josh Allen, Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, and Lamar Jackson. My top three between the draft and free agency are Kirk Cousins, who is every team's number one choice in the quarterback search, Baker Mayfield, who is a Heisman Trophy winner and is a threat on the ground and through the air, and Lamar Jackson. Depending on where he is selected, Lamar could be a steal in the draft, drawing on-field comparisons to Michael Vick and Randall Cunningham, plus giving the Broncos a dual at quarterback. He would be my third option if Cousins and Mayfield fall through. So that'll do it. I'm Alex Sutton and hopefully if the Broncos attack the offseason correctly, we'll be hoisting Lombardi shortly. Thanks for listening.